What's the difference between these two men? One looks like his head's about to explode because someone just criticized Islam. The other has a big beard. You can learn a lot about an ideology by how often it gets made fun of on South Park, or by what happens when someone burns its book, or by how quickly you get called a racist for citing facts and statistics about it. Over the past decade and a half, many people have learned that there's something different about Islam, and they learned this by straightforward observation. Draw a cartoon of Jesus, no one gets killed. Draw a cartoon of Buddha, crickets chirp. Draw a cartoon of Muhammad, politicians and the media scramble to avoid a global bloodbath. People notice the difference, even if they don't know why there's a difference. In the case of cartoon riots, the source of the difference lies in the fact that Muhammad ordered his followers to brutally murder anyone who makes fun of his religion. So, if we're at all concerned about cartoon riots, seems like we might want to discuss Muhammad's teachings at some point. But we can, because racist Ben Affleck says that it's racist to talk about Islam. I'm not denying not, that, that certain people are bigoted against Muslims as people, that's, right. and that's a that's problem. Big of you. But the. But why have, are you so hostile to, about this? It's, it's gross. It's racist. It's, it's not. not it's, it's but it's so nuts. It's so. It's like saying it's those so not your shifty Jew. You're not listening Absolutely to not. what well, we are saying. You, no, I am listening. You guys said a bunch of words, right? You guys are saying, if you want to be liberals, believe in liberal principles, right. like freedom of speech, like, right. um, you know, we are endowed by our uh, forefathers with an inalienable life, like all men are created. No. Endowed by our forefathers? Um, you know, we are endowed by our uh, forefathers with an inalienable life. You don't understand fact, my argument. You know, well, your argument is like, agreement. you know, black people, you know, they show no, each no, other. That is not my argument. Uh, like many other Hollywood liberals, racist Ben Affleck is a racist. He's not the sort of racist who says, my race is superior to all others. He's the sort of racist who believes that one race should be treated as inferior to all others. In this case, it's the Muslim race. Yes, Islam is a race because, as Hollywood liberals learned long ago, when you're stuck defending the indefensible and your opponents are approaching with a battery of facts and statistics to prove that you're an idiot, the race card is the trump card and maybe the only card protecting your house of cards. So, racist Ben Affleck likes to toss around the term racist, but could he be the real racist in this discussion? The short answer, yes. The long answer, yes. Let me unpack that a bit. Racist Ben Affleck agrees that bad ideas should be criticized. Ben, we have to be able to criticize bad ideas. And of course we do. Islam... No liberal doesn't okay, want to okay. criticize and racist Ben Affleck practices what he preaches by criticizing the ideas of Bill Maher and Sam Harris. Note, he thinks their ideas are bad, so he criticizes them. But Islam but why at this moment is the mother load of bad ideas. Jesus. So we have we have <laughs> that's ideas just a like, fact. like it's blasphemy. Not a, it's not a, it is it's a, an ugly thing. Apostasy. It's, it's an ugly thing. Apostasy. It's an ugly thing. Apostasy. It's an ugly thing. Apostasy. Now that racist Ben Affleck has convinced us that it's okay to criticize bad ideas, let's turn to a random page of the Quran, where we're sure to find a really bad idea. Oh, here's one, Surah 98, verse 6. Verily, those who disbelieve in the religion of Islam, the Quran, and Prophet Muhammad, from among the people of the Scripture, Jews and Christians, and al-Mushrikun, idolaters, will abide in the fire of hell. They are the worst of creatures. Christians and Jews, according to the Quran, are the worst of creatures. But doesn't racist Ben Affleck believe that it's morally wrong to condemn an entire group? The question is the degree to which you're willing to say, because I've witnessed this behavior, which we all object to on the part of these people, it's, I'm willing to flatly condemn not, those of you I don't know willing. and I've never met. No. Allah calls Christians and Jews the worst of creatures. We're lower than dogs. We're worse than Geely. We win the Islamic Razi. So is racist Ben Affleck going to condemn this bad idea? Of course not. In fact, he'll call you a racist for having the slightest objection to what the Quran says about anyone. But I can guarantee that if Bill Maher were to call Muslims the worst of creatures, a light would suddenly turn on in the old bat cave, and racist Ben Affleck, the dim knight himself, would sense that something's rotten in Gotham. Why would racist Ben Affleck have a problem with Bill Maher saying something about Muslims that is perfectly acceptable for the Quran to say about Christians and Jews? Why does racist Ben Affleck lower his expectations whenever something involves Islam or Muslims? Even it gets so hold on, are racist. you the person who understands the officially codified doctrine of Islam? You're uh, the interpreter well, of that? Well, 
Let's turn to another random page of the Quran for another bad idea. Here we go. In Surah 48, verse 29, Allah says, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those who are with him are severe against disbelievers and merciful among themselves. Is there anything wrong with the Quran saying that Muslims only get to show mercy towards fellow Muslims and that they have to be severe against non-Muslims? Not according to racist Ben Affleck. But we all know that if Sam Harris were to say that atheists should be severe against Muslims and only be merciful towards their fellow atheists, racist Ben Affleck would immediately see the bat signal in the clouds where his head normally is. Well, we've killed more Muslims than they've killed no, us by not, an awful lot. We've we invaded need, more Muslims. I'm not from more killers. An awful lot. Yet somehow we're exempted you know, from okay. these things because they're not really right. a reflection of a, what you know, we believe in. We could spend days going through the bad ideas in the Quran. Do not take the Jews and the Christians for friends. They are friends of each other. Fight those who do not believe in Allah. When the sacred months have passed, slay the idolaters wherever you find them. But we already know what the result would be. Racist Ben Affleck would think that these ideas are beyond criticism coming from a Muslim, but desperately wicked coming from, dare I say, a white talk show host like Bill Maher. It seems we have two sets of standards here. There's one moral standard for Islam and Allah and Muhammad and Muslims, and there's a completely different moral standard for everyone else. You might think that racist Ben Affleck is giving Muslims a higher status because they're exempt from the rules that apply to others, but that's not what he's doing at all. What sorts of people do we not hold responsible for breaking moral rules? Well, children who aren't old enough to know better, certain mentally disabled people who don't understand right and wrong, and people who are insane and aren't in control of their actions. Since racist Ben Affleck doesn't apply the same moral standard to Muslims that he applies to white non-Muslims, which category is he placing Muslims in? Are they like children to him? Does he regard them as mentally challenged or insane? Why don't the rules that apply to Bill Maher and Sam Harris also apply to Muslims? What you're saying is because they are a minority, we shouldn't make, we shouldn't, we shouldn't criticize. It's not that as, much of a minority, the second biggest religion in the world. Exactly, but, they're, but you're treating them like a minority. The saddest part of all of this is that racist Ben Affleck can't even comprehend what a racist he is. He thinks he's defending Muslims by pretending their religion is peaceful while treating them like degenerates and barbarians. Back in 1999, racist Ben Affleck starred in Dogma, a film that upset a lot of Catholics, not that racist Ben Affleck cared. Racist Ben Affleck and Matt Damon were angels. George Carlin was a Catholic cardinal. Chris Rock was Rufus, the 13th apostle, who was written out of the Bible because he was black. Jay and Silent Bob were prophets. Alanis Morissette was God. And of course, there was Jesus. Dogma was written and directed by Kevin Smith, Silent Bob of Jay and Silent Bob. In 2005, he was asked if he was planning a sequel to Dogma. Here's what he wrote. We'd need a bigger budget because the entire third act would be the apocalypse. Scary thing is this. The film would have to touch on Islam. And unlike the Catholic League, when those cats don't like what you do, they issue a death warrant on your buttocks. Wait, wasn't that exactly what Bill Maher and Sam Harris said? It's the, because it's the That's only it. religion that acts like the mafia. Shame on Silent Bob for stating the obvious. But let's finish the quote. And now that I've got a family, I'm not as free to stir the crap pot as I was when I was single back when I made Dogma. I mean, now I've got to think about more than my own safety and well-being. But regardless, yeah, a Dogma follow-up's been swimming around in my head for some time now. Been almost 10 years since he said this. Where's the follow-up starring the religion of peace? Well, we can't blame Silent Bob, even if he wanted to get a fatwa on his family by making Dogma 2 the wrath of consistency. What production company is going to cough up millions of dollars to make a film that no one who wants to live is going to star in and that no theaters that don't want to get blown up will ever show? Hollywood liberals tell us that Islam is no different from other religions, and they lash out at anyone who says otherwise, but they prove by their actions that they know Islam is far more dangerous than any other ideology on the planet. Um, ISIS like couldn't ISIS fill a double-A ballpark in Charleston, West Virginia, and you were making a career no, no. out of ISIS, 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 ISIS. But no, 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 it's not no, just no, ISIS. No wonder Hollywood wants to keep Bob silent. He says what we all know but aren't allowed to say. Since Hollywood liberals understand that Islam is filled with bad ideas, why not discuss these bad ideas with Muslims? Isn't that what you're supposed to do when you disagree with someone? Racist Ben Affleck disagrees with Bill Maher and Sam Harris. What does he do? 
he sits down at a table to discuss their ideas with them. He tries to reason with them. Why not discuss what the Quran says with Muslims? Why not have an open dialogue on the Quran's claim that husbands can beat their wives into submission? Apparently, Hollywood liberals like racist Ben Affleck are convinced that Muslims, by nature, are incapable of logical reasoning and the critical evaluation of ideas, which makes Hollywood liberals the biggest bunch of arrogant racists in the world today. They get plenty of practice pretending they're not, which is why they end up as actors. Hollywood liberalism, my friends, the perfect gift for the person who has everything but a clue. Of course, racist Ben Affleck and his fellow Hollywood liberals are free to prove me wrong. All they need to do is make Dogma 2, starring racist Ben Affleck as the Prophet Muhammad, Rosie O'Donnell as Allah, Matt Damon as the Angel Gabriel, and Gwyneth Paltrow as Muhammad's nine-year-old child bride, Aisha. If they make that movie and don't get killed and don't go into hiding, it will help show the rest of us, who like to think, that Islam is indeed no different from other faiths. It will slay the mythical beast called Islamophobia. Now, with such an unparalleled opportunity before them, if racist Ben Affleck and friends don't help Muslims by making this film, we can only wonder, how much do they really care? Matt Damon!